Let's see if the given year is a leap year or not. A leap year is exactly divisible by 4 except for century years, I mean years ending with 00. zero. A century year is a leap year only if it's perfectly divisible by 400. So let's write the logic for this. I'll take a variable called year and first let's see if it's a century year. If it's perfectly divisible by 100 then it's a century year. For a century year to be a leap year it must be perfectly divisible by 400. If this condition is true then it's a leap year. So I'll print that message out on the console window. So if it's not perfectly divisible by 400 then it's not leap year. So this if logic checks for century years. If it's not a century year and if the year is perfectly divisible by 4 then it's leap year. If not it's not a leap year. Simple logic, right? See inside if I am checking if it's a century year by dividing it by 100. If it's a century year and divisible by 400 then it's leap year. If it's not century year and it's perfectly divisible by 4 then it's a leap year. I'll ask the user to enter the year and check this logic. Okay, let's compile and run our program. I'll enter 2019, it's not a leap year. Let's check for 2020, it's a leap year by the way, yeah. Let's check for a century year, 2000, it's a leap year too. Follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for various leap years I have listed on the blog and uh, you can also find the source code and discussion and notes. Also please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and to our blog and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.